Hi friends, uh, how are you doing today? I wanted to come and talk to you today about something I had um, asked the Lord last night. I had come home from work and I was looking at YouTube and there's so many voices out there on YouTube that talk about the rapture and dreams and prophecies and I said to the Lord, I, I want to know from you. I want to hear from you. I, you know, I enjoy listening to these other people, but I want to know in my heart what you have to say about these things. So after that, I opened up my Bible to Isaiah chapter 24 and the Lord. The Lord was talking about the coming destruction of the world and the people. And, uh, It just reminded me of how how much destruction is coming. The wrath of God is coming, and it's going to be a time that nobody really will want to live in or go through, but many will have to go through it because they haven't turned, they haven't accepted that Jesus died for them, that he came and he lived, he is God, and he came into a human body, and he died for us on the cross. He willingly gave up his life for us, and, you know, uh, God is weeping for us. He created us. We are his children. He gave us life. And he doesn't wish that any should perish. He loves us so very much. He gives us all that we ever want or need. Whether we know it or not, he is always there with us, giving us the things that we need in this life. <laughs> Sorry, I just realized. I was looking at that button wondering what does it do but it bring, makes things bring closer so I apologize um, so uh, I just wanted to read a little bit of Isaiah 24 and I apologize I have to take my glasses off or put them down like this because I can't read <laughs> with my glasses on so Isaiah 24 Behold, the Lord makes the earth empty and makes it waste, and turns it upside down, and scatters abroad the inhabitants thereof. And it shall be as with the people, as with the priest, as with the servant, as with his master, as with the maid, so with her mistress, as with the buyer, so with the seller, as with the lender, so with the borrower, as with the taker of ursery, so with the giver of ursery to him. The land shall be utterly emptied and utterly spoiled, for the Lord has spoken this word. The earth mourns and fades away, and the world languishes and fades away. The haughty people of the earth do languish, and the earth also is defiled unto the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Therefore has the curse destroyed the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned, and few men left. So that was verses 1 to 6. And there is more, um, if you care to go and read more. But I just wanted to share with you the Father's heart for us all. And how much he loves us and how much he calls to us and I believe that each person that has their life on this earth that the Lord gives them a chance to know him to come to him he calls to them he might not even just call once he might call many times and he he wants us to change our ideas change our mind and turn to him that's what repenting means is we turn from the way of our thinking, from following the ways of the world, and we follow him and what he tells us. And his 
burden is light, his yoke is easy, and all he wants us to do is to love him with all of our heart, with all of our mind, with all of our soul, and to love each other. And those are the two greatest commandments that Jesus left to us when before he left this world. And he just, you know, it's not a hard thing to follow God. And and if you diligently seek him with all of your heart, with all of your mind, with all of your soul, he will be found by you. And uh, it's a, a wonderful thing when, when you are found by him and he enlightens your mind and your heart and your soul and, and you have peace in your heart and peace in your mind. And you are, you have that assurance that when you leave this world, you are going to go to to him, to live with him forever. Can you imagine living with God and in his love and in his glory and in his beauty, all the beautiful things that he has created and, and you get to be a part of that all. And and the, the other thing is that, you know, you, you need to make a choice while you're on this earth. This is the time to choose. Once you are leave this earthly plane, you cannot choose Jesus. Your fate is already made for you. You, you will be in darkness forever without the love of God. Forever, forever, forever is a long, long time. I mean, it never ends. It'll be an eternity of sadness and gnashing of teeth and crying out that you wish you could have been with the Lord and and then there's the flames of hell for those that really don't accept Jesus and don't accept God's love and pardon me You know, no one can make you believe. No one can change your heart for you or change your mind for you. Only God can do that. And he leads those to him. He leads them into repentance to change their ways. And And I pray that this day that you will seriously consider your way in life. You know... You might think that following God, that there's no joy, no, no fun, and that's not true. <laughs> the ways of this world are broad and wide and lead to destruction, but the ways of God leads a person to peace and joy and love and patience and kindness and everlasting life. A life that if you choose it you will never regret it or you know it will be the best decision you could ever make in your life so I pray that God will bless you this day that the Lord Jesus Christ will bless this video and I pray that he will cover it with his blood and if there is at least one soul that can accept Jesus today I pray that you will accept him. And you know, you don't have to make a long ordeal about accepting him, only that your heart be true and sincerely call out to him. And God sees the hearts of all men. He knows what's in our hearts. And if your heart is true, he will see it and you will be blessed by him. Uh, I pray you all have a great day and thanks for listening. Goodbye.